Elena says, hey, Ben, if you had to pick a single moment or period of time that profoundly impacted your life, what would it be? Um, well, I honestly believe I, you know, I haven't been alive very long. I'm only 33. So uh, I, I believe that there have been several, you know, kind of key periods of my life. Uh, I would say that one of, one of those key periods was when I was growing up and I went to middle school. I went to public school uh, and I was viciously bullied there. And then I was viciously bullied in high school. I think that's a it's not a good thing that it happened, but it's a character building exercise. You have to grow a thick skin uh, and you have to learn that, that the world is not your friend and that you're going to have to make your own way. Uh, and so I think that was a, a, a deeply upsetting but, but valuable experience to me. Uh, Harvard Law School is a great place to learn how to argue and learn how to think. Um, I think that the last year and a half has been a really tremendous character building experience and, and, a, and has changed my, my thought processes. It's really interesting. The other day, and somebody wrote a column criticizing me and talking about a column I wrote in 2007 uh, about... The, about dissenters from the Iraq war. There were a bunch of Democrats at the time, like Dick Durbin, who were talking about how they were glad that America was basically losing the war in Iraq. And I said this was traitorous, essentially. And in a column, I even said that we should, re we, we should re revivify the Alien Sedition Act, the, the, not the Alien Sedition Act, the Espionage Act from 1917 under Woodrow Wilson. I feel, and then Barack Obama became president, and you become the dissent. And then you realize, well, you're gonna have to have a, a certain standard. It's easy to be the people in power, and it's hard to be the people out of power. And then during this election cycle, the question was, were you going to maintain that standard now that you had the possibility of power again? And I think the answer is that if you're not learning throughout your life and changing how you feel based on new evidence, not based on new feelings, but based on new evidence, then you're not doing the right job. I wish I hadn't written that 2007 column now because I don't think that's right. I don't think that the, the Espionage Act should be revivified against people, even people who say egregious things about war and, and you know, say things that harm the war effort and I think put the troops in, in a bad position free speech is valuable because you can end up on the wrong side of it. Uh, so there are certain areas in, Amer in, in life where I've changed my position because new evidence has been presented to me that I had not experienced before. The Obama administration changed my way of thought. The Bush administration changed my way of thought. The Trump administration changes my way of thought. If you're not changing your way of thought based on new evidence, then you've stopped thinking and you've become rigid and, and, and uh, sort of locked in.